If cash flow information is not available, we can estimate net annual cash flow by adding back depreciation expense to net income. Net income is $12,000 and it includes depreciation expense of $38,000. So if we add these numbers together, we get an estimated net annual cash flow of $50,000. If we divide that into our cost of investment, we get a cash payback period of 3.8 years. The annual rate of return uses accrual accounting data to indicate the profitability of a capital investment. We know that our annual net income is expected to be $12,000. We also know that the investment cost $190,000 and has no salvage value. So the average investment is $95,000, and that is found by taking $190,000 and dividing by 2. If we divide $95,000 into $12,000, we get 12.63%, and that is our annual rate of return. The machine has a useful life of 5 years, and the cost of capital is 12%. So the PV factor is 3.60478. If we subtract the capital investment from the present value of cash flows, we obtain a net present value of negative $9,761. The NPV decision rule is, accept the project if net present value is zero or positive, reject the project if net present value is negative.